Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. Hello everybody, welcome so back M. to my channel. And this is like a holiday themed video, so to go with more like jolly, less drunk. <laughs> giggles out hopefully today I'm gonna to be making a holiday treat one that you can bring to a Christmas party or like a family get-together for Christmas or uh, wait Hanukkah is almost over it is a three-layer bar pretty much it has a graham cracker crust a peppermint filling and then chocolate on top and it's super yummy everyone will love it Hopefully it works out this time because I fucked up last time. You don't need a whole lot for this recipe. It's relatively easy. The recipe that I got it from, it was a tasty recipe and I adjusted it to my liking and I changed a lot of crap and one of the things is making it less ingredients. <laughs> I have all the ingredients laid out. So one thing you'll need is Cool Whip. Make sure to get the original Cool Whip because the last time I made this, I used light. Um, I think it was like a generic brand of Cool Whip, and it didn't freeze correctly. And the first time I made this, I did use this Cool Whip, and it did freeze, and that's what we want. Um, <clears throat> you'll also need some butter, not, not this much, <laughs> but you'll need butter. Some graham crackers, chocolate, uh, it doesn't matter what kind, we're using dark chocolate. I have some sprinkles, this is optional, I just want to make it more, um, you know, Christmassy. And peppermint extract. You'll also need some, um, we have two 8x8 eight eight little pans to put them in. And that's, that's really it. So, you, you wanna make it? Yeah, let's make this. Okay, let's make <laughs> The tasty recipe calls for like 10 sheets of graham crackers. I'm gonna do like 15 because I think the graham cracker crust is the best part of, you know, like bars or pies or anything. Is that weird? Is that a thing? That's a thing. That's a thing. Definitely a thing. I'm like really obsessed with graham cracker crust. We're gonna add in our butter. Now we're gonna blitz this bad boy. We're gonna pulse it first. Smells so good. Here is our combined butter and graham crackers. We actually ended up adding more um, butter. So we have 15 graham crackers in here and uh, nine tablespoons of butter. We love butter. So we're gonna take half of this mixture and put it into one of our pans. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, that's all butter. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, well, it's fine. Let's see. I want to try and make this as even as possible. So, I'm going to spread this around. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to put this in the freezer for like about 20 minutes um, and we're going to make the filling right now. So our filling on the Tasty Recipe, they actually make their own whipped cream. I don't know what it is about making your own whipped cream that's so, you know, fun to do because it's not fun. It takes more time and more money to do. You have to get more ingredients and you have to sit there whipping it for like 10 to 20 minutes. And I'm not fucking doing that. 
another weird thing on this tasty recipe. The thing with any kind of extract that you use, a little bit, like a tiny bit, goes a really long way. And for this recipe, they said to put in three teaspoons of peppermint extract, which is insane. That's just gross. Just like you're just drinking like, you're just doing that. Last time I made it, I actually did one, one teaspoon and I thought that was still too much. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna play it extra safe. Um, so we're kind of experimenting a little bit right now. So I'm actually starting out with a fourth of a teaspoon of pepperin extract and I'm going to stir it in and I'm going to see if that's enough. And it very well might be. Who knows? But once we have it s stirred in, we're going to tr we're going to try it. We're going to taste it. And it's, if it's enough, then we'll stop there. Come here, cameraman. Come try it. See what you think. Okay, take control. Just this much? What do you think? That's a good amount to try? Jacob. I'm gonna add like another eight. So I'm gonna do half of this. Okay. It just needs like so literally a drop. Like the tiniest amount. So what I suggest you guys do, you start out with a half of not half, a fourth of a teaspoon. And whatever or wherever your heart takes you, just run with it, babies. Babies. It's all baby. Okay, so oh wait, 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 um, I was gonna put them on top, but I realized that they wouldn't show up with the dark chocolates. Like, there's no point in putting them on top. So, I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I put sprinkle into the film? Flip, 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 flip. Rapid fire! Oh no, we definitely need more. Oh, bring it on. <laughs> this is so fun. Christmas. Okay. Cool. Now we made our filling. We're going to wait like another 10 minutes for those bad boys to sort of harden. harden. <laughs> and then we're going to put this guy on top. And then we're going to do the next step. Okay, so it's been in there for about 20 minutes. We're going to take both of these out. And we're going to put the filling on top of both. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the graham crackers. Ooh, look how fun. <laughs> I always say that. How fun. So I'm going to spread this out. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we put our filling in there, and now we're going to freeze it for, I'm going to check every 30 minutes, and I will let you know uh, when it gets to the next step how long it took for it to completely harden. It's been about two hours. I know that seems like a long time, but we really want that to be it's really solid in there. So I have about a cup of chocolate chips and a tablespoon of coconut oil and we're going to melt this at 30 second intervals because we don't want the chocolate to burn. I've done that and it sucks. Mmm, delicioso, yes. Okay, let's go. It's pretty solid. So now we're just going to bloop all over. Oh shit, that's gonna get places and then we're just going to spread it all around oh shit okay and that should harden in like no time flat so I'm gonna put this one back into the freezer and that will like harden up in a minute okay guys so this is what it looks like keep in mind that if you do do it how I did it um, once you cut up the squares, 
it will be hard to get a perfect square. So if you wanted really nice, perfect squares, I would wait until the whipped cream hardens and then cut up the squares and then like drizzle chocolate on each individual one if you're a perfectionist, but um, I kind of wanted it now. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do and I hope it will bring a lot of joy to your holiday parties. Bye guys. Mm. Mm.